Hello my antique loving friends, it's Gregory here with Old Europe Antique Home Furnishings and today is October 28th, 2023. It's the last day of Round Top, the largest antique fair in the United States and that's where I'm headed. I'm gonna go out there, meet up with some of my dealer friends and talk to them about their experience uh, with their booths out there and I also will take a look at some of the items that I see and try to critique those. I'm starting off here at my own shop, Old Europe Antique Home Furnishings, right here in Austin, Texas. And I'm late, so I gotta get out to Round Top. All right, my friends, we're gonna start the adventure today at Round Top here at the Arbors. I have uh, some dealer friends here from France, so we're gonna see if we can find them. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's been a lot of rain. There's a lot of mud and water everywhere, but uh, let's go see if we can find these guys. So this is the Arbors, and as you can see, it's right across the street here in Market Hill, just outside Round Top. I'm still looking for my dealer friends, but here's Deja Vu Antiques. And this is Alan, he's the owner. And you also have a uh, booth or a space over at the venue, which is just up the road. And then this is your space here at the Arbors. So we were just talking about some 18th century French antiques, most of his things come from Marseille. So what else do we need to look at? That's a really nice piece. Is this the original hardware? Yeah, we've got original 18th century hardware here. Some nice big dovetails. It's a beautiful piece. All of your things come from the south of France? Yes. Okay. Here's another 18th century piece. Now see, this is very common in 18th century pieces and we've got more beautiful carving on the front and what can you tell me about this painting over here 19th century. 19th so it's 19th century when i first saw it i thought maybe it was an early 1900s painting and uh it's signed it's it's a really nice decorative work i like this a lot you can see Okay. Well, Alan, we appreciate the tour. Merci. All right, well, I finally found uh, my friends from France here. This is William. Hi. With uh, Clement Created Antiques. That's right, yes. And uh, this is the last day, so I've kind of caught them here as they are rounding everything up to take yeah. uh, the things away. But uh, can you show us a few things that you had here? Yeah, we'll for talk sure. About we'll, we'll, we'll start, might as well start with here, with Le Jeu de la Grenouille. Okay. It's, it's a medieval French game, and it, one, an interesting thing about it, actually, so I was at a fair in Austin, uh -huh. and a bunch of people approached me, and they're like, why are you selling this? This is this Colombian game. Okay. So it's actually really popular. So I did a little bit of research, and some French people brought it to Argentina, and then now it's kind of all across Latin America, but it's originally a French game. Okay. Or Jeu de la Grenouille, frog game, and you just have eight of these little pallets. Okay. And you're just trying to, you stand a few feet away and you just throw it in and you try to get as many points as you can. Tell me about this sideboard here. So that's actually Renaissance style. Mm hmm. Um, and it's actually, believe it or not, this is from the 60s. So in okay. France, there was a lot of antiques that were made during the 60s. There's two periods where a lot of antiques were made 19th century and the 60s, 70s. Okay. So this is one of them, so with the Parquet de Versailles on top, but it's very beautiful. It's all, all oak and it's, it's solid. And we sanded it? it to get that and get the contrast and everything. So it's not bleached, it's sanded? No, that's right, yep. Okay. Yeah, we don't we don't bleach any of ours. We, 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 we sand them down, see that, that. And you can see that's how it normally is. It's, it's made, this construction is very similar to the late 19th. That's right, but it's actually not. Pieces. Yeah, yeah. and the reason you would tell is by the locks. This, this is the easiest way to tell. 
this manufacturer of locks, that's not 9th century. This okay. is the 60s. That's when they were making a lot of furniture. Because after World War II, you know, they had to refurnish everything. So, they did, they so did. So that's what they did, and there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And now some people confuse them, so that's something to be worried about. Very a buyer to know. Absolutely, yeah. no, that's, that's good information. I think the yeah. viewers will enjoy that. So uh, another, and then I could show you something, something uh, neat. So these are something, this one actually made um, first dibs, first page on their magazine. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. So both of these are Louis Philippe with one of veneer oak frame with the St. Anne marble. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is a, this one's technically actually of style as well and not of period. Right, it doesn't look like a period piece. Yeah, so. and the reason you, you can When would this have been made? So this would be late 19th century, whereas okay. this would be a period of Louis Philippe, and the reason you could tell is here you have cornered edges, whereas here you have beveled edges. And that's like the, the, the telltale sign of a period versus a style of specifically Louis Philippe. So on the Louis Philippe period, yeah. which would have been what, roughly 1830, 1840? Yeah, that's right. 1840 uh, being the very end, most of it would be 1830 as far right. as the furniture. And then of style would just be 30, 40 years later. And so what you're telling us is that these curves are indicative of the Louis Philippe period piece. That's correct. Yep. And uh, let's just take a look at how these drawers, yeah, got dovetails yeah. on the drawers there. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And then look. Uh, very typical with secretaries, oh, you yeah. have little secret drawers. That's the point, right? The yeah. secretaire, it really means secret. Yeah. It had nothing to do with a secretary. That's right. In French, secretaire, so secret. So that's great. Yeah. That's great information. All right, what do what we have next? Let's see. We can go on to our Madame de Recamier up here. Uh huh. But, so this is of course a copy and not a real one. If it was a real one, it would be in a museum. Uh -huh. uh, so it's Jean-Antoine Houdon. And Jean-Antoine Houdon is the sculptor, actually, the George Washington bust that you can find in, uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, he's the guy who did it. Okay. And so Madame de Recamier is really famous in France, a 19th century lady. And that's, that's her. Great. And that's a beautiful sculpture. That is, that um, is. And then we have, the, our, we have two bull, Cabinets. Yeah, let's talk about this bull cabinet. Yeah. We got two. Oh, I didn't even see that one. It's hidden behind that yeah, let me mirror. Uh, is that a... Uh, how old is that mirror? This is contemporary. This is okay. going to be the 80s. Everything else is old. Okay. So this would be of style and not of André Charles Boulle. Again, same thing. Bull, you're probably familiar. Right. A real stamped one is hundreds of thousands of sure. dollars. Sure, yeah, yeah. These, um, are, these are in the style. These are in the style, and this is Napoleon III period, right. which a lot of antiques, French antiques, are made About 1860? Later. Later? Uh, 1870 later. or 80? A little later. Yeah, okay. that's right, in this situation. And yeah, and these are two beautiful ones. So these ones okay. have been renovated fully, and that one, for example, all that red is actually tortoise shell and grass okay. and lay and everything. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a little closer look at that one. I really like this one. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Very ornate, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have a 1922 Pluyel piano at right here. Okay. It's a gorgeous piano from 1922. Mm-hmm. We've restored the box, but that's it. The rest is, is completely original, but it perfect. It plays perfect. Yeah. It's a gorgeous piano. Ici nous sommes l'autre frère. Yeah. yeah. That's um, the other brother. That's the yeah, John and William. Yes. 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 So that's some of it. And then I, one of our probably one of our most beautiful pieces is this bright R Norman. I actually was just looking at that this when you walked gorgeous. around the corner. Yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous. And piece. I noticed you had it listed at at uh, forty eight hundred. Yeah, that's right. Tell me about yeah, this carpet. piece. That that is a very distinct style. Yeah, which is typical, it's rustic, specifically Normand, Normand, okay. is exactly the style of that region. So and this would be a near Brittany? Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're Omaha Beach and everything. This is okay. actually very, very close. We, we actually found this in Caen, which is right next to So there's to a it. fairly good chance that this piece was right there during D-Day. Oh yeah, I heard it. The wood, the wood felt it. This sure. wood felt 
the repercussions of the shelling down Absolutely. on the beach. That is now see, this is an antique. This yes. this is why yeah, we're exactly. in this business for that kind of history. Yeah, I yeah, love that. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty. There's plenty. There's enough between actually the two bull pieces too. We have we have a few like full blown period correct antiques. Uh -huh. That secretary is one of them. Okay. And that's Louis XVI of period. This is a Louis XVI period. Yes. This is of period. This one. Fully so we're talking fully late uh, six, late 1700s here. That's right. Yep. And look at the shape it's in. Perfect. Absolutely incredible. Let's let me just pull out one of these yeah. drawers. That is interesting. Yeah. Okay. Would that be the original marble as well? Yes, yeah, the original marble for sure. You see, it's got a little oh, got some chips and things. Yeah. What a super piece. Yeah. And we also have a, a roll top desk in Louis XVI. Oh yeah. Let's too. take a look at that. Oh, yeah. fantastic. This is, yeah, also Louis XVI roll top. Yeah. Well, this is fantastic. Let's pull, let's pull out this drawer here. Yeah. yeah, you gotta show the dovetails. You gotta show the dovetails. And let's look at the locks too. Yeah. That is, uh... That's amazing. Well, what surprises me is a lot of times the, the locks from the 1700s were had, had square uh, locking mechanisms. And yeah. this is starting to become a more modern 19th century looking lock on this. Yeah, this is fantastic. Look at the woodwork on that. Yeah, the woodwork on the actual... Is there is there a name for this motif here? I could not tell you. That's okay. what I'm not, yep. I don't know. And we've got a little... Yep. inlay here this is a super piece it is did this one sell this one has not sold yet I can't believe that somebody that sees this video needs to call these guys yeah. and buy this because that that is something really and I have one more piece yeah, I'd like to show well two more and then we'll, we'll we gotta get going this one's beautiful uh -huh. And this one. These are the two I'll show you. Okay. So this is called Meuble de Port, which stands for port furniture. Port furniture, right. And it, this is, you know, from the colonial times when they would get their exotic wood or their mahoganies from Central Africa specifically. Okay. This is so exactly this would have come is. in at the port and probably been... It would be either Bordeaux or not. And okay. the reason, so the, and the, the reason that they call it that is because they would get the wood there and they would build them as well at the port. Right. And they usually, as far as they would stay oceanside. Okay. And so an oceanfront home so where, this... where humidity and temperature fluctuates a lot. So you need the wood to be dense and not to move. And these are, this is something that's like that. So in this case, this is from 1740. Okay. And you can tell, I mean, the... the the wood is, has not moved. Yeah, that's and that's where whereas, whereas oak walnut moves it tremendously. It'll snap. It'll break. Uh, whereas this will not at all. Would you call this provincial furniture? Yeah, you could call it provincial. Yeah. Okay, because yes. when you try to talk about the definition of provincial, I usually just refer to that as something not made in Paris. Yes, that's so if right. It was so this made would, at the port. That's then correct. That's it would be provincial. Yeah, and this but, is Louis fifteenth of period as far as Louis fifteenth period. So we're yeah, talking okay. about mid. Uh, mid 1700s. That's right. And uh, and it's perfect. And it's just the lot just yeah, just perfect. Yes. Yeah. Now that looks it's like a super an 18th smooth. century lot. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. And it's just perfect. And then this one, also Louis 15th, but also provincial. Has this been bleached? S sandblasted Sandblast. specifically, but this wow. one we did. This one we've made a little bit of changes to. Okay. The inside we put a buffet in there. Okay. And this is actually we feel the buffet that we've added in there, and then we've made these inside. Yeah. So you have some concave shelves there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So yeah. you've modified this one significantly. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. And, and do you know roughly where this would uh, have come from? The Loire Valley. The Loire Valley. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and the one other neat thing about what you can see about oh. these old pieces, oh, the yeah. wear and tear on the key. That's yeah, that's incredible. Let me get that. Yeah, and let's take a look at the lock on here as well. Yeah. Now, what age did you say that was? I mean, 
This would be 19th century. 19th century. Late 19th century. Okay. Late 19th century? Yeah, this would be late 19th century. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Then Napoleon III, very typical. Is that period? Of Napoleon III, yeah. 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 Okay. Which you can always tell with Napoleon III because there's always a mixture of styles. Right. With Napoleon III. It's never just, there's always going to be a bit of Louis XVI, there's going to be a bit of Louis XV and XVI in there, there's going to be a bunch of stuff. Some beautiful marketing in there. Yeah. Inlay. Yeah, it's very well done. Well, great. Yeah. Well, guys, I really appreciate your time. Of course, thank you for coming and let us show you everything. Absolutely. Yeah, all our pieces. This has been probably one of my favorite interviews because your knowledge is... Yeah. I guess being from France doesn't yeah. hurt. Yes, that's right. How long have you guys been in the business? Believe it or not, just a year. Just a year? Yeah. But you have, I believe you said, a French partner? Yeah, or that's right. That works he's been in the business for over 35 years. Okay. So he's, he's been the person we've been learning about all okay. this stuff. Okay. He really, really knows what he's doing. Sounds like it. Yeah. Well, I wish I could have yeah. met him too, yeah. but maybe another time. Yeah, maybe another time. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, well, thank you, Craig. Uh huh? Yeah. Okay, so if you're wondering just how beautiful the countryside is on a nice sunny day in Texas, in Round Top, Texas. There it is. It's beautiful today. Okay, just as I'm leaving the arbors here, I happen to notice this massive tree. And I mean, I could be wrong, but that looks like it could be 300, 400 years old. That's extraordinary. It definitely qualifies as antique. All right, well, now I am here at Blue Hills with Joni from Castle Hill Antiques. It's the last day of the fall session of Round Top. And Joni, what can you tell us about the pieces that you have here? Well, Greg, uh, thank you so much for popping by. We've had a fabulous show. I've been out here about 16 days. One thing I'd like to showcase today is a fabulous 18th century Italian table that is still available. Um, this is over 12 feet long and has a beautiful, all original, hand-painted family crest. I've got some gorgeous candlesticks uh, on either side. You can seat 12 to uh, 14 people at this table. Um, and also behind me, one of the most uh, beautiful sunbursts that I've had in a minute, uh, double carved rays. Um, and then of course on top of one of my favorite objects was which is a Louis the 16th marble top style credenza my number one seller um, This is a gorgeous piece still available original marble or Malou, Original pools original keys fabulous wood grain uh, And just want to say thank you to everybody that came out to the Blue Hills um, Fall show 2023 I will be back here in January bringing you every single thing I can get my hands on that's fabulous um, so follow me on Instagram at Castle Hill Antiques. You can always shoot me a message if you're looking for something. I'd love to shop for you. And Greg, thanks for coming out. And uh, this is kind of uh, how we all just drug in what was left outside. It has been raining cats and dogs, and I'm getting ready to pull down the door and head out um, to my home in Austin. And then you can meet me on Internet Land. I would love to shop uh, or for you or do any business with you online. So Greg, thanks so much. Thanks, Jody. Well, I was just driving along and I happened to notice another shop here that kind of caught my attention off to the side of the road just outside Round Top, and it is Suzanne's Antiques. You got some interesting pieces here.
almost appears to be Florentine. Yeah, I think that might be Florentine. Several of these pieces here. Some Florentine trays. That's a good shop. Got to weave and wind our way through here. Look at that. Venice. Antique globes. A lot of smalls in here that I really like. Ah, that'll put you in the uh, festive mood. It's Christmas. So look at this lamp. That's a French horn converted into a lamp. Isn't that interesting? A rather old French horn by the look of it. Talk about some uh, Americana. Look at that brown transferware. Often you think of English transferware, which had its origins in the 18th century. I did a video on that. Now here's a nice, what would appear to be a French server. Some nice carving on it. A neat piece. Another French piece. And look at this armoire. Look at that armoire. That's a nice Renaissance style armoire. Gilt vitrine.
Look at this, we have a Venetian style mirror. Some blue and white transferware. Bleached oak server. Oh wow. Many colors of transferware over here. We've got black, pink, green. Got a tray almost exactly like that one. All right, well, we're over here at the Red Barn venue. So we're just walking through the Continental Tent right now. You can tell, wow, look at this table. That's really outstanding. Definitely a 19th century carved piece. Just gonna do a walk through here. Probably don't have too much to uh, contribute. Looks like an early 19th century armoire there, French. and 19th century portrait there. Marketry top table. Hi, how are you? Wow, how old is that painting? Is that 18th century or even earlier? 17th century. Yeah, asking 3900. Jesus, the Sermon on the Mount. Is that the Sermon on the Mount? Wow, that's beautiful. That one is Spanish colonial. Okay. And what about what about this beauty here? The big one. Yeah. No, that's the Spanish colonial one. Yeah. The Martyrism of Saint Bartholomew. Saint Bartholomew. Wow. Did you have a good show? Okay. Okay. Good. 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 I love your space here. You got another portrait here. These are some really genuine articles here. Out of the world. Oh, they were part of a wall. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, uh, what what about this table? Is this is that marquetry? 19th century, 18th century Italian. I, would, I knew it was an impressive table. Wow. How what are you asking for that? 2900. 2950. Now that is impressive. Is this yours? Yes, sir. How, uh, can you tell me about that trunk? Okay, it's a military trunk from Italy, 19th century. Okay. This is from private collection. Okay. Yes. So, nice piece, very interior. 19th century Italian piece, yeah. That's fantastic. Is that early 19th century or is it later 19th century? Do you know? Probably middle. Middle? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks like it has some age. Dean, yeah. is, is yeah, that so still available? A lot of attention. Uh, yeah. They're supposed to put this in a magazine in, ah. uh, because uh, these guys came yesterday, took a lot of pictures. Yes. 
Yes, actually, you know what? If you're ready to buy, I'll give you a big discount because I'm going back to Italy. What are you asking for it? 35,000. 35,000? Yeah, I'm flying to Italy at the end of the November. Okay. So, I don't know. Well, that's a fantastic piece. Yes, it's uh, nothing broken, so no, it's it's, it's, it's incredible. Nice equestrian art right there. All right, my friends, well, that's going to wrap it up for the Fall 2023 Round Top Antiques Fair Overview. I hope you enjoyed meeting some of the vendors and seeing some of the amazing antiques that we looked at and talked about. In the background, you can see the Red Barn sign behind me. I'm going to sign off now. Please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're ever in Austin, Texas, please stop by and see me at Old Europe Antique Home Furnishings. And we'll see you in the next video for more antique-related content.